Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing extremely well. Today we are going to discuss another problem in our binary search tree series. The problem name is minimum value in a BST. So let us understand the problem description first. We are given we are given a root node reference of a BST. Okay, and we want to find the minimum value present in the BST. So let us take an example to understand the problem description more clearly. Let us say the root node of our binary search tree is node 35. Now the left child of node 35 is let's say node 25 and the right child is node 45. Now for node 25 let us say the left child is node 15 and the right child is node 30. Now the left child of node 45 is null and the right child of node 45 is also null. Now for node 15 the left child is 5 and the right child is null. Now for node 30, the left child and the right child is none. So what is the minimum value present in this binary search tree? So we can clearly see the minimum value present in this binary search tree is node 5. Right. And what also we are seeing? We are seeing that the minimum value is nothing but the leftmost node of our binary search tree. As you can clearly see, this node 5 is our leftmost node. So the minimum value will always be the leftmost node of our binary search tree. Why? Because our binary search tree property says that all the values present in the left subtree will be smaller than the node itself. So the smallest value will be in the left leaf. Okay. So let us take one more example to understand this. Let us say we are given the root node of the binary search tree as node 77. Now. The left child of node 77 is let's say node 67 and the right child is let's say node 87. Now for the left child of node 67 we have node 57 and the right child is let's say node node 70. Now the left child of node 70 is let's say node 68 and the right child is node 72. Now what is the minimum value node present in this binary search tree? So we can clearly see the minimum value node present in this binary search tree is node 57. And this node 57 is nothing but the leftmost node. This node 57 is nothing but the leftmost node. So we are going to return 57. That is the value. And in the previous example, we are going to return 5, the value. Okay. I hope the problem statement is clear now. This problem is pretty easy. So we are not going to spend much time in this problem. So let us understand how we can solve this problem. So let us take uh, the same examples. So let us say we have node 77 as the root. Uh, uh, the left child of node 77 is node 67 and the right child is node 87. Now for node 67, let us say the left child is node 57 and the right child is node 70. Now for node 70, the left child is let's say node 68 and the right child is node 72. So how can we find the minimum value node? So we can clearly start from the root node. We can start from the root node and we can say, okay, let us go to the left subtree of 77. So what is the left subtree of 77? The left subtree is node 67. So we'll reach at node 67. Now from node 67, we will again go to its left subtree. So what is the left subtree of node 67? So the left subtree of node 67 is node 57. Now, is there any left subtree of node 67? There is no left subtree of node 57. That means this node 57 is our answer. So we are just simply going to return this 57 value. Okay, now talking about the time complexity of this approach, the time complexity of this approach is big O of log n, where n is the number of nodes present in this binary search tree. And talking about the space complexity of this code, the space complexity of this approach is also big O of log n if we are going to use recursion to solve this problem and big O of 1 if we are going to use iteration to solve this problem now this these are the time complexities in the search case in the in the average cases now what will happen if we have a worst case so let us take the worst case as an example let us say a uh, root node 55 is the root node uh, sorry 55 is the root node the left child of node 55 is node 45 the left uh, and the right child is null now for node 45 the left child is 35 and the right child is null now for node 35 the left child is node 25 and the right child is null now for node 25 the left child is node 15 and the right child is null now in this in this binary search tree what we are going to do we are going to start from the root node so we'll start from node 55 now is there any left subtree for node 55 yes there is a left subtree for node 55 so we'll reach at node 45 now from node 45 we'll again say is there any uh, left subtree for node 45 so yes there is a left subtree for node 45 so we'll reach at node 35 from node 33 we'll again say okay is there any left subtree for node 35 so yes there is a left subtree for node 35 we will reach out node 25 
now from node 25 is there any left subtree so yes there is a left subtree for node 25 so we'll reach at node 15 is there any left subtree for node 15 there is no left subtree for node 15 so what we are going to do we are simply going to return the value of this node as our answer so 15 will be our answer but the time complexity in this case will be big o of n because we have to iterate all the nodes of our binary search tree so the worst time complexity of finding a minimum value in a node will be occurred when the our tree is a is a degenerate tree okay or a pathological tree now talking about the space complexity the space complexity will also be big o of n if we are going to use recursion to solve this problem or big o of one if we are going to use iteration to solve this problem i hope the problem statement and the solution approach made sense to you guys the problem statement was not much okay so now we are going to understand how we can implement our logic in the form of code so i'm going to use uh, iteration to solve this problem so let us do that as well so as you can clearly see, I have already declared a function called min value and the min value is taking the root node as an argument. Root node is nothing but an object of class tree node. This class tree node is having a constructor that is initializing the value of the node, the left and the right subtree of that node. Now by default, the left and the right subtree is set as null. Now let us take a, a variable called current and store the root node in it. Now what we are going to do, we are going to say till the point our current uh, node is having a left subtree so while current dot left is not null what we are going to do we are going to update our current as current dot left and that's it and in the end i just need to return this current dot value whatever the node that in the end my current is pointing so let let us uh, let me tell you what do i mean so initially let's say if, if we were on root node 25 after that we reached on node node let's say 15 and after that we reached on let's say node 5 so for node 5 it will simply return the value 5 so let us take an example to run our code so let's say the root node is nothing but node 15 now the left child of node 15 is node 5 and the right child is node 20 okay now the left child of left child of root node that is node 5 left is nothing but node 2 i'm gonna take a small example to run my code and let's call this function called min value let's pass the root node and let us check the output of our code so the output of our code is coming out to be as 2 uh, which is correct because 2 is the smallest value i hope the problem statement the solution approach and the code made sense to you guys if you guys have, still have any queries regarding this problem please drop your concern in the comment section and i will be more than happy to help you regarding the series i will be uploading more of the videos in the upcoming week so keep following us until then keep smiling and keep coding thank you